Hey guys, have you ever wanted to upgrade your laptop without buying a new one? Simply putting in a couple new sticks of faster or better RAM and memory could be a good option for you. Today we're adding and expanding memory to this Precision 3541. So let's open it up and get started. The one thing I do like about the Dell Precision series is that after you back off all of the screws, uh, they stay. So you don't have to make sure you have them in the proper order. Now with this particular model of the Dell Precision, um, I have in the past accidentally cracked these areas here and I had to order a new back plate of this guy. So the easiest way after you back off all the screws is to put a tiny little flathead screwdriver um, you know, smaller than the normal size, like these are the electronic ones, not the regular screwdrivers. And then you kind of put it in here and slowly turn and lift. But basically, once you get this side off of the one with the hinge, the rest of it comes off. So I wouldn't recommend going around this side or the back here or, he or here. It's basically once you get this off, it, it will come off. Um, you don't want to break that because then you got to use a laptop or give a laptop back to someone that's busted and it's no fun. Um, let's turn it around here so it's not upside down. Now it's good practice to take out the battery when you're working on any laptop. Um, however, I don't because I'm a cowboy and um, hopefully I don't die. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so just kind of basic things here just you know so people are aware. Um, there's two different wireless cards here. Um, one is for LTE and one is for um, you know, your normal Wi-Fi card. Um, <clears throat> so I have one DIMM free and generally when you're upgrading um, RAM, um, you, you replace in pairs, right? So like I'm, I bought it, a, 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 this is a 16 gig and I'm putting in another 16 gig, which matches identical, which is not the same company. Now, I might run into problems where this RAM is a little bit, like there's some weird stuff going on with the computer, then I know I have to replace this and get two of the same. But generally it's okay to try to replace or add RAM that is um, two different companies um, or two different versions, as long as all of the specs are the same. Like in this case, I'm using DDR4 16 gig, with uh, 2,666 megahertz um, on it. So basically, um, you wanna do it in pairs. You can do it, um, for example, if you buy a 16 gig and then you buy an eight gig, but the same company, same hertz and all of that stuff, um, it would give you the 24 gigs of RAM, but it's kind of better if both of these are the exact same. So today we're adding a crucial um, 16 gig DDR4, uh, two triple six, very evil on that memory. So hopefully nothing goes awry. And this is cheap um, uh, computer memory. I'll put a link in the description below to um, <clears throat> a Dell laptop and this memory, if it helps. And um, try to zoom in here on the after edit um, to show you. But essentially um, this exact same goes like that. Um, you want to line it up so you see how this thing is a little bit far to the left, right? And if I put this in here, it won't actually line up. So that's a telling sign that you have it backwards. So it goes in one way. And um, basically, you just kind of put it in like this, always on like a diagonal, right? And then you kind of like slowly, don't force it, but you'll see these two switches on the side or levers will kind of come up and then they'll pop over it and it makes you feel like you're like killing it but um it, it, it is uh correct i'm not sure if i got that in the best and then just to remove it you kind of pull back those levers and then it will come out so i kind of push down a bit on it down here to make sure it's in the right slots and then slowly push down and then that's a little bit better so now we're going to close it up reboot into um, windows and check it out I paid only $40 American for this stick. I'll put a link in the description below. Now when closing up a laptop, just be cognizant of over-tightening the screws. 
So we are back into Windows here, so I'm going to go to, uh, I right click the taskbar, you know, the big long bar at the bottom of your computer that um, has all of your stuff on it, um, and went to Task Manager, and now I'm going to go to Performance, just to see. Um, you never really get the actual, like, it should say 32 there, it's always a little bit off, right? Um, but yeah, so there you go. So the issue why I upgraded the memory in this um, particular laptop is I was getting pegged at 16 gigs with doing a lot of uh, development work in Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. Um, and yeah, this hopefully will mediate that and uh, give you a little bit more wiggle room. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description for this very high quality, um, inexpensive uh, DDR4 memory that you can order off of Amazon. Ordering the, using that link below in the description will give me a small commission. And I do appreciate um, if you guys do that, if you are planning on buying uh, that memory, or if you just generally found this review to be helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, comment below if you guys have any other ideas for cool technology videos, laptop, desktop, software programming, smart home, anything you want, let me know. And I hope you all have a great day. Stay tuned.